Well, that sucks. That, that should move. <laughs> yep, that should move. It's broke. We broke it. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Barn Shenanigans. We've got the Honey Badger here, yep. aka Brandon Schaefer here from Hookset Fishing, and he has acquired another project. So we're grabbing my 16-foot uh, trailer, hooking up to his truck, and we're gonna go grab this thing. Let's go on this road trip. Actually, we need to get some food first. Uh, taco Tierra. So we're gonna go to Taco Tierra. It is one of the best taco joints around the area. I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be a hoop. So I just looked down and realized that the trailer hitch doesn't have a locking pin in it. And uh, I think we'll be fine. I've used this trailer enough times without it but we want to be safe, so I found something that might work. Perfect. He's ready to go. I enjoyed the Harry Potter one you put in there. Yes. <laughs> so where we're going to be getting this uh, tractor from, Brandon tells me this guy's got a lot of goodies out there, and there's a potential that I might get something as well, so we'll see how it goes. I don't know if what you're going to get is going to fit on there with the tractor. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if we'll have enough room on there, but we could throw it in the bed or at least come back and get it. You need to leave my kayaks behind. I got room back there. <laughs> so we got about an hour to kill before we uh, before we reach our destination. Obviously, we're going to stop and get some food. Hey, trailer check. Now, well, stick is still in there. We're good. It's time to go get some food. We're going to... One of my favorite places. Taco Tierra. I'd also like to point out that the camera quality is horrible for this video, so I apologize. My front lens on my camera decided to crack. <laughs> so we may have to use his phone for later on. But anyways, I'm ready for a Sancho, two tacos, and a Mountain Dew. I'm done eating at Taco Tierra. I tell you what. That place just hits different. It is uh, fantastic food there, and just supporting a local business. I love doing that. So we're gonna continue on our way. It's dark outside now. Good thing I brought some flashlights. I brought this some Milwaukee. Illuminators. Yeah, brought this Milwaukee light. Should be able to see what we're doing. Well, we made it to our destination. There's quite a bit to choose from here. There it is, the mysterious big tractor. <laughs> it's a 105. The engine is supposedly inside of there, so we're gonna go and try to hunt the engine down. I'm pretty excited. Yeah, you should be pretty excited. <laughs> I told you it was a monster. Yeah, it is a monster. <laughs> I especially appreciate the oversized front wheels on it. That's awesome. Is he uh, in the shop? Yeah, up at the house. Oh, he's up at the house. Okay. I'll watch my step around here because there's all kinds of goodies. Also, be careful with the cat behind What's that? Oh, hey, kitty. Oh, black cat just crossed my path. <laughs> I'm scared. I think I just made a buddy. for this one uh no okay no the cover's so. already on it yeah the cover's the, on the it. gas tank uh, is back there underneath the table yeah and there's the gas tank i, I guess i have no gas tanks around for some mm -hmm. so do we know any history on this engine nope not a thing perfect 
That means you should run immediately. That's exactly right. <laughs> you ready, Brandon? Uh-oh. <laughs> the light's telling me it's going dead. Got her all loaded up. Stopping at a uh, Hux gas station real quick on our way back home just to make sure all the straps are good. So far, not too shabby. She's holding pretty well. Showed them Uni toy. It actually came with a uh, really, really good deck, mowing deck, and all the hardware for it. And I even picked up a 351 Ford engine block, and it came with, oh, uh, you can't see it, but you can trust me, it came with the Oh, look at him with this fancy bed. Oh, look at that. Cool. I came with some heads, crankshaft, and pistons for it. I have no idea what I'm going to do with it. But there's the uh, 10 horse Kohler engine for that. And when we get back, we're going to see if it'll spin over. Right now, we're going to go inside here and get something to drink. Ice and cold beverages. We made it back. Long trip. Everything's all one piece. We got the engine here. And once again, I really apologize for the uh, the poor camera quality. So I can that music you're hearing in the background is uh, Colin Jones. He's practicing on the drums. So, anyways, while we have the background music going, we did try to spin this engine over a little bit. We can make almost a full revolution before it comes to a dead stop. Do a dance. I have a good guess that it's probably one of the valves is stuck and that cam lobe is coming up and just trying to open that valve up and it's not. So we will probably start by taking the plug out. We may remove, we may just go ahead and remove the head. That way we can see everything and clean it if need be. But I don't know, maybe we can, what do you think? We might be able to actually get, uh, Maybe put some penetrating oil in there and loosen that up. I like to try that and just let her sit for a day or two and see what happens. Okay, I'm fine with that. So we'll get this in the barn, set it down on the ground, and then pull this apart. We're going to be able to use a little bit of redneck ingenuity here. I want to make sure that this shaft will actually turn and make sure that that pump is going to work. And hopefully we can actually drive this off. So I'm going to take this uh, 3 8 deep well socket, just a junk one. I'm going to take this death machine here and cut a slot in there. And the idea is I can chuck it up to this drill, put it on to there, and we'll see if that works. Well, I'm a little too lazy and I didn't want to go and grab my uh, bench vice. Well, actually, the truth is the, the workbench is a little filled up, so we're just going to use this and cut the slot in it. It'll be fine. Hey, dude. Glasses. What? Glasses. Oh, I've got my safety squints. It'll be <laughs> fine. hop there on the captain's seat and see if we can make this we're turning this uh, garden tractor into an electric tractor <laughs> yeah, you can't really see it. let me grab the light here so I think that that is the um, neutral lever and it was tucked it behind here I was able to free it up so we're gonna try this again you ready uh, I hope all right Engage the uh, the EV motor. Oh hey, a girl. <laughs> hey, rear end's good. Could we just push this off? I I realize that, but where's the fun in that? I went ahead and took the liberty of pulling this apart without filming it, but uh, the reason the engine was not spinning over was the intake valve was actually seized up a little bit. That tends to happen with these after they sit for a while. But I put some penetrating lubricant in it and she uh, she's now freed up enough to where hopefully it makes a full revolution. 
Yeah, buddy. It's more progress than what it was. It's still not closing fully, but uh, we'll work it out. We're just going to continue to work this spring back and forth. This is actually pretty common, and I just used my custom tool. If you ever deal with these L-head engines, you can just take a, a, you know, just an old pry bar, put a V-notch in there. That way, it fits right into there. You can pull the spring down, and it is really, really gummy. So that slide that's inside of there, or the, the valve guide, rather, was just gummed up. And it's no surprise because it's on the carburetor side, so... That's where all the gasoline goes through, and I'm guessing this probably sat on its side for a little while, and all the old fuel got stuck down inside that valve guide. She's a little bit black, but at least it had some slicky stuff in it, so that's good news. Bunch of ancient dinosaurs right there. Got the valves to where they're moving independently, and they're moving smoothly. We put the chuck um, onto the flywheel. We're just gonna use a drill, see if we can turn it over. I think it has compression, bud. Man, it might have a little bit. <laughs> okay, bro, it's got good compression. <laughs> Hang on to it. Gotta get a little poop in your britches. Apparently, just go slowly. There you go. That's a good sign. Sweet. Brandon's putting the carburetor on it. Yes, it needs to be cleaned, um, but we'll get that later. The whole idea is to see if this thing will actually run for a little bit. Just gonna put some cheating juice in it. If you guys don't have this tool, I highly recommend it. I actually have like three of them sitting around because I lose them all the time. And they're like two bucks. Yes, and they're like two bucks at the old Harbor Freight. Um, essentially what this does, if you're not familiar with it, is if there is electrical current going through it, if, or if this uh, coil is actually working, this will ignite. There's a little bulb in there. So it's just a visual rep representation of spark actually occurring. So in other words, if that lights up, that means that's lighting up. Got it all hooked up. The spark tester is in place. I'm going to roll it over and see if we actually have any spark. Ready? Yep. Hey, it ran until the uh, positive lead fell off. Yeah. <laughs> I think we got a runner. Oh, show proves. Are you having difficulty with this engine install? No. <laughs> Okay, careful. It's on that. Oh, it's on the ship. Yeah. Scratch it. There we go. That's better. She's in her home. That almost looks official. <laughs> Mint. Not bad. It's been a pretty good day, would you say? I'd say so. We got her running. We figured out the transmission's good, the rear end's good. Has brakes that kind of work. Yes. I'd say those are the biggest wins right there. Yes. I am beyond stoked that the engine has compression so i think next time we're going to try to focus on getting the engine to run maybe about more than more than just a few seconds but uh the, we're getting he's going to be tracking down parts for it but right now it's just going to sit out here in my uh makeshift <laughs> storage shed one thing to note this is going to be a budget build so right now he has zero dollars in this whole thing that's right he got this thing for free Free 99 yeah so what's the budget we're going to try to keep this under i'd like to try to keep under 100 bucks if, i don't know if that's reasonable okay enough, so we'll see. in future episodes we're going to be keeping track of how much we spend on this because obviously we're going to have to spend a little bit of money on it yeah uh gaskets and maybe an inner two maybe some tires who knows but if we can keep this thing under 100 dollars, that would be fantastic well thank you guys for watching um it's been a lot of fun. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe to the channel, and you will see more episodes on this awesome build. Thanks for watching. Guys, take care.